Hi, my name is Charles Meadows. I'm the product manager for Sartorius's MyCap CCX cell expansion system. MyCap CCX is the solution to a problem as old as the biopharmaceutical industry itself. This exciting new product modernizes cell culture operations in clinical, pilot, and GMP production. I'd like to share the story of the product's invention and how it can streamline operations, reduce costs, and fight batch failure from contamination. We'll start at the beginning. Almost every cell cultivation begins with a vial of cells from a working cell bank. The goal is for lots of these cells to grow happily in a bioreactor. But of course, the cells from the vial cannot simply be added directly to a seed bioreactor. In the case of suspension cultures, the cells are transferred from successively larger Erlenmeyer shake flasks until the population is large enough to be added to the bioreactor. At each transfer or passage to a new flask, cells are sampled for total count and viability, fresh media is added to the next flask, and the culture is transferred to the receiving flask, usually by hand pipetting. The flasks have to be opened for each of these operations. Because the flask is opened, there is a real danger of contamination. Contamination means the expansion process is abandoned and the culture is thrown away. A Bioplan Associates survey inquired about the frequency, cost, and leading causes of batch failure. On average, a failure occurs every 9.4 months and costs one to two million dollars. The leading causes, contamination, and operator error. It made sense to us that opening flasks is a contributor to contamination, and if we could fix this problem by closing the system, we would enable a production process that is less likely to become contaminated. But there's more to the story than simply fighting contamination. Cell passaging is done in a biosafety cabinet or laminar flow hood to protect against contaminations. Hoods are big, they are expensive to operate, and expensive to maintain. Every item used in the hood, pipettes, pipette tips, flasks, media containers, even gloved hands, everything needs to be decontaminated first. GMPs require an environmental monitoring program for the BSC, which includes settling plates or air sampling plus testing. Most agree that operating outside of the hood would be simpler and less expensive. And still, despite working in a hood, many expansion processes continue to have some rate of contaminations. So there is a further strategy to prevent contaminations. Backup flasks are often included at many passages. The purpose of the backup flask is if a flask in a later passage should fall contaminated, the operators can use one of these backups rather than abandon the expansion, which could be days or even weeks old. Eliminating backups in an expansion process would save time and reduce costs. So this painted a very clear picture of the problems and opportunity to make an impactful change on cell cultivation. Could the expansion process be done outside the laminar flow hood without the risk of contamination? Meeting the challenge means a reduction in waste, a lean expansion process, and reducing the reliance on biosafety cabinets and the expenses related to them. This is the cap of the typical Erlenmeyer shake flask used today. These caps have an embedded vent filter, which occupies the entire surface area of the cap, leaving no room for tubing. Cells in a culture consume oxygen and produce carbon dioxide. Cultures starved of oxygen will not grow. Cultures with too much carbon dioxide become acidic and disrupt cell growth. Gas exchange across the filter membrane is the critical attribute to a successful cell expansion. Because airflow in an incubator is passive, there must be an unrestricted airflow across the entire filter membrane to support cell growth in the incubator. Technology of caps with integral tubing 
and some method for aseptic connections is available today. A solution like this allows for aseptic fluid transfer outside ABSC. Bottle closures like this use disc filters for air venting during filling and emptying. A filter like this has a huge surface area, but airflow through the vent filter is restricted at the inlet to the hose barb. That surface area is tiny, only about 12 square millimeters. Most cell lines simply don't grow in a flask vented by disc filters because there's not a large enough volume of air moving across the filter membrane. The novel manufacturing process of MyCap allows for unique versatility of design. Holes are formed into a cap, components, usually tubing, are inserted into the holes, and then silicone is dispensed into the cap to encase the components and form the elastomeric closure. This manufacturing versatility was the key for us to integrate our specialized gas exchange cartridge. The cartridge maximizes the opening of the filter membrane and optimizes the footprint, allowing us to include integral tubing alongside the gas exchange cartridge. Our gas exchange cartridge has a significantly larger surface area than disc filters and is even larger than the opening on a traditional vented cap. What we've done with MyCap CCX is simple. We have combined two technologies into one. We've taken the large open surface area of vented caps and integral tubing for transfer caps to create MyCap CCX. Once the concept was developed, we needed to evaluate performance. A cell expansion is successful when cells grow. So we performed parallel expansions on 500 milliliter to three liter flasks, starting with the same vial of cells from the working cell bank. This table shows culture doubling times for MyCap CCX in orange and the traditional flask in black. At each passage, the doubling times were nearly identical, indicating there is no discernible difference of growth between MyCap CCX and the incumbent system. The statistical t-test confirms there was no statistically significant difference between the growth rates of the two systems. This should be considered as evidence that MyCap CCX supports cell growth, but responsible change does require a comparative study of cell growth between MyCap CCX and the incumbent system for different cell lines. We've built a tool to assist with the design execution, and interpretation of results for a validation study on your cell lines. Simply describe the expansion process, and the tool will create a materials list and data table. Enter data into the table, and the tool automatically generates charts and completes t-tests. These outputs can be included with the change control to demonstrate equivalence between MyCap CCX and the incumbent system. I have a diagram illustrating the steps for passaging from flask to flask and flask to reactor with MyCap CCX. Note first that these steps are done outside of the BSC. Next, notice that MyCap CCX uses commonplace parts and routine operations. Peristaltic pumps transfer fluids, balances are used for precision of transfers, and connections are made by tube welding or aseptic connectors. In fact, we are not introducing a new flask. MyCap CCX is currently available on Corning's plastic Erlenmeyer flasks. We are simply introducing an improved closure. A change to MyCap CCX is a modest and very manageable change with significant upside. The impact of the MyCap CCX on an operation can be quantified we looked at four categories of operating expenses in a cell expansion operation. Cost of consumables, cost of media, cost of environmental monitoring, and cost of labor. As expected, cost of consumables is higher with MyCap CCX. After all, the product is introducing tubing, fittings, and connectors. However, all the other costs are reduced significantly. Overall, we expect MyCap CCX
to reduce operating costs. Models demonstrate a 9% reduction in costs, but results may vary. We will work with our customers using our proprietary tools to calculate a cost comparison with their specific operations and costs taken into consideration. MyCap CCX advances cell expansion operations by eliminating the need to perform operations under a laminar flow hood and at the same time reduces the risk of contamination from non-aseptic operations. It was an enabling manufacturing technology, technical know-how, and a close collaboration between supplier and users to develop a technology which saves time and reduces labor and waste. This concludes this webinar. My name is Charles Meadows, the product manager for MyCap CCX. You are welcome to visit sartorius.com forward slash MyCap CCX or contact us to learn more about MyCap CCX and our other products. Thank you for your attention.